Welcome to Ypsilanti and just a few miles away from the big house where this house is home to the Eastern Michigan Eagles and we are anticipating a great turnout and a sensational game in this one. Today an interconference battle between a couple of Mac rivals. As we'll see, the Buffalo Bulls taking on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer and guys can't wait to get this one started. Eastern Michigan ready to kick it off and get this game going. Fielded in the end zone, it's Henderson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Bulls will have some work to do after that short return. And here he comes, guys, the man who makes everything go. Everything in this offense is built around his ability. He's got such great field vision. He's got it all going. He is must-watch TV. Let's not get it twisted. People show up to this stadium. People are watching back at home because of this guy right here. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Dropping back, it's Agbana. He looks that one in nicely. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. You've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Now on first and 10 from the 27. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. Quarterback floating away from pressure. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Those always sting a little bit. When you get so close to, to getting the QB to the ground, creating a negative play, and then all of a sudden he turns it into something positive, just really annoying as a defensive guy. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's snow. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. The Bulls are moving quickly down the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Moves away as he feels pressure. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. The give to the tailback. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. And the Bulls with the first and ten. Right back to the well. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers. But they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Bulldozes him. Oh, that move is going to leave them dizzy. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game.
Second down coming up. They go to the ground. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? Dropping back, it's Agbana. Feeling some heat. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws and scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. And very important, not only to generate power, but to find his mark, a 49-yard try from the left. Field goal is good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Eagles offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Back to throw, it's Snyder. Unloads to the right. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the big fella. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Really nice job by the defense there. You're trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. You got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there. So really nice tactic by the defense. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Going with the counter play here. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Trying play action. Caught near the sticks. It's McMillan. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. It's really easy to be a quarterback in an offense that runs the football and then runs play action. It makes it simple. It makes the reads easy. It sucks the linebackers and safeties up where I can just make plays right behind them. On the run, it's Henderson. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. 
you know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Big third down here. They need to get the ball to the 41. To the air, it's Agbana. Looking left. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right, and the play will stand. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. The sure hands, it's McMillan. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Fires to the tight end. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him, so a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. The Bulls getting set on first and ten. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Unloads it left. Makes the catch. They will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Find the running back out of the backfield. He catches it and does the rest. Walks into the end zone for the touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Fires to the wideout. Can't hang on across the middle on first down, and maybe he was worried about the shot he was going to take. You know, sometimes wide receivers are so eager to get up field once they have the ball, they take their eyes away. You really got to do a good job looking it in and securing the catch. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. Wide out in motion. Looking downfield, it's Snyder. Throws to the tight end. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Zone coverage that time in the cornerback. A nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. This offense really needs to get something going. Punt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got it. 
And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. From the gun, give on the inside. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. They'll give it to him again. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets it to the 38 yard line and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Might as well give it to him again. Breaks the tackle. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. If you're starting like that, now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can... Throws toward the end zone. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Line gets set, first down. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Grabbed in the middle. It's Snow. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm going to run them, but you got to make those decisions and you got to make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. 
And the Bulls have it with a first and ten. Got it behind the line. It's Snow. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Scanning the field. It's Agbana. Unloads to the wideout. Fires into traffic. Picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. The timing has to be so good. When you're throwing into zone defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball they're thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. He's going to pass. That's reeled in. It's Singleton. Spins away with great balance. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Quick strike complete. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Now on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the air, it's Agbana. Makes the grab on the left. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Third 
third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Bulls have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Find space on the right. He's got the sidelines going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. And the Bulls headed quickly to the line. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Well, oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. The Bulls have it in scoring position on first and goal. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And you try to catch him off balance, maybe on first down and goal right here, a situation where maybe you sneak in a pass. Defense was ready, got the sack. Now, now you got to be a little bit more creative now that you got the negative play. The offense, I know you've worked this all week. You got to get ready to execute in the red zone. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wants to throw. It's Agbara. Got out of trouble and throws. Finds a soft spot in the middle. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Going for six. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Oh, and he missed it. No good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. 
Looking to pass. It's Snyder. Completes it in the middle. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. They're going to throw it again. And the quarterback is snowed under. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. He's looking to throw. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I, I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. To the air. It's Agbana. Complete. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Here comes the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Bulls will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Slips through the line. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. He'll do it himself. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt.
and just a spectacular punt. It'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really put this offense in a hole. On the ground, it's Henderson. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position, it's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they run the option, and you can just tell, man, that just the timing of that wasn't set up well, and the quarterback looked a little bit clunky, and that play went absolutely nowhere. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. They'll try to run for it. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. The Bulls have it with a first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. Coming out, attacking from deep in their own end, and they're out at the 26 with the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Bulls look to keep this drive humming. To the air on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Henderson. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And in my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did in that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They move the tight end all over. Off play action on first down. He'll take a shot. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Motion from the offense. They keep attacking through the air. Grabbed in the backfield, it's McMillan. 
Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed. Getting to the ball carry on that one. A third and long coming up here. To throw. It's Agbana. Getting some heat. Got his man on the right. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC's like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to get to him. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. This is turning into a death march for this defense. 13th play of the drive coming. He's back to throw on second down. This time he's got his man. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he, this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Finds his man down the middle. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they closed the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Complete to the left. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now on first down from the 30. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Mitchell. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I love playing man-to-man -man defense, and I love getting up in your kitchen and jamming you at the line of scrimmage, but it's really hard when they start running these crossing routes and drags and ends because now I'm in chase mode, and the QB has a little bit of space a lot of times, and those fast guys can create some separation and get a first down like they did there. Looking to throw, it's Snyder. He'll take a deep shot here, and it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody on the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. 
Perhaps feeling that coverage coming, signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. Trying to find his man on first down. Quickly out to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires on the move. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. That is no good. Guys, a double-digit lead is good, but more would have been better. And you wonder if mechanically something is off with this kicker. That's now his second missed field goal of the day. And guys, we've got almost perfect conditions to kick the football. I'm not sure what's going on. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking to throw at Snyder. Oh, he wants it all. And it's caught inside the 15. They make the stop, but man, oh man, did he almost get a score on the final play of the half. A big game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Ypsilanti. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And just like that, let's send it back to the guys inside the factory. The Bulls will kick it away to crank up the second half. And here's the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense, and I've got the lead. They've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. Off the play fake on first down. Finds his man, it's Singleton. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. They'll try the run. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple at second and eight, they'll run play action. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. 
That's another example of just really good football. This is why they built the lead here in the second half. Nice job pressuring the quarterback, making him feel uncomfortable, coming into somebody else's building and keeping it really, really quiet. On third and long, he has to throw for it. They're trying to get to him. And they got him for the sack. Yeah, and man, you talk about being down at the half. What's one thing I need to do? I, I got to protect my quarterback. In the first series here now, you're getting your quarterback hit and taken to the ground. This offense has to protect that dude at all costs. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. This offense has a second down play. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Right down the middle. He's got it. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. It's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. But you've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Bulls. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Looking to the big tight end. And the third down pass is incomplete. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. 
Decent field position to start this drive from their own 33. Looking to go up top on first down. Quickly to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Running back searching for a hole. Wrestled down at the 43 after getting five. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. To the ground. He's got it again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow it's second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. The RPO, it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? They'll leave it with him. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Offensively, and are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Going up top on first down. Pressure in his face and he lets it fly. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. That's what this defense has to do, guys. They've got to knock this quarterback down to the ground. He's already thrown a couple of TDs. The only way you're going to stop that is with good quarterback pressure. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run it from the gun. They'll give him four on that when it's third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. To the air, it's Agbana. Looking to scramble. Gonna try to get it himself. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, and you can tell the QB, he drops back and he wants to throw the football. He wants to push it downfield, try to get the first down. Couldn't do it. Nobody was open, couldn't find anybody. Took off the scramble. Great job by the defense reacting to it, getting him on the ground, stopping him short of the first down. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. 
That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The RPO, fire complete to the left. The Eagles will keep this drive going. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. To the ground with the back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. every journey begins with a step this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast caught over the middle it's singleton he's really close to that first down marker but they stop him just a bit short one of the things i love about this defense is they just have such great awareness and they're always communicating they understood the down and distance they knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt that is so well done Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. Fair catch called for and made. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls offense can do. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Here comes the offense on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. Dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward. Let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job. Nice execution. First down. A productive play is one that gets you at least halfway to another first down here on first and ten. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. That's caught. It's McMillan. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Bulls had this offense rolling. They'll go to the ground. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Got his man quickly. At the 20, he's got space. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. 
how nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. The Bulls will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Just trucks through it. Touchdown, Buffalo! And the beatdown has ensued. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Shakes off the defender. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the other side. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Leaves it with the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. in the backfield it's Johnson and he is marked out of bounds after another big game this aerial attack has had no problem moving the ball with chunk plays They're lining up on first and 10 from the 38. He's going to pass. He makes a catch. And he's marked down right there, but a good pickup, and it'll be a first down. Well, the quarterback has looked his way early, and he's looked his way often all game long. Now he's got over 150 yards when throwing to that guy. And the Bulls will snap it on first and 10. The inside handoff. Works his way ahead for about three yards, stopped at the 23. A 
And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Got three on first down at second and seven. Looking for a man, it's Agbara. Gets it out quickly. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. This is just unreal. I mean, just continues to stack up numbers now. Almost to 500 yards on the day. Most people can't do that on air. He has been hitting his wide receivers left and right, putting up huge yards. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle. It's snow. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. Looking for room, it's Henderson. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. He's looking to throw on third and short. Touchdown, Buffalo! And the punishment has been extended. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. Back to throw, it's Snyder. Grabs it in the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. And that's the exclamation point right there. It's been a bad day, man. This offense, they're going to have to find some answers over the next couple of weeks, especially the next week in practice, of who they are, what their identity is, because all they've done today is struggle around and now give up points. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Bringing it back, it's Scott. Gets it all the way out to the 33 before he stopped. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They'll get him down at the 48 after the 15-yard gain. 
This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Big play to start this drive, and they're already out at the 48. It's first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. And what you see late in games, man, those teams that can really run the football and run that clock when they got a lead, you really win a lot more football games. So I think you look for them to be physical down the stretch of this game, try to continue to do this on the ground, continue to eat that clock. Hand off from the gun. Dragged down at the 39, but he's got five yards, and they'll move the sticks. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Pulled down after a pickup of five, but they knocked that defense back, and they've got it down to the 34. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles, and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. The run from the shotgun. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Fourth down and one, and they'll go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it past the marker. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. They're down to the 25 on first and 10. Looking for a man. It's Agbana. Fires to the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete. But obviously, they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. In second and ten, he'll throw again. Looking to the big tight end. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Taking it the other way. He's inside the 40. After making the interception, he took it all the way back and sets up his offense at the 17-yard line. Reese, I know you're a little bit of a front runner, so you probably would quit. You actually, you'd probably sub yourself out and take yourself out of the game. But I like that they're continuing to fight. Keep fighting. You never know what's going to happen. Actually, you know what? I know you're not going to win, but it doesn't matter. Keep fighting to the very end. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. <laughs> so they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency, man. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, wants to throw. The short hands, it's Reese. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Eagles! Yeah, good for them. They, they put together a drive, they, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed, but... At least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. Well, 
Lining up to add another. Smashes it through for the PAT. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Scott. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On the run, it's Henderson. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And the Bulls will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block, it's Singleton. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. And the ball is picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. The offense has it now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. Wide out in motion. They're getting this guy lathered up. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, the ground game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. They'll run it out of the shotgun. 
only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's fourth and three. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bowl, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. Bottle little time lets it go. Makes a grab enough for the first. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Tackle is made after the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The Bulls will line it up on first and ten. Hand off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Power football with the run. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give out of the gun. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. Right down the boulevard, it's good. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. 